Hello guys, welcome to my mess, my maddening mess. Um, <clears throat> I have just been working on some jewelry. Um, for the show, I have shit spread everywhere. Seriously ridiculous I can't even think but all this stuff is necessary for what you uh, have to do to make jewelry well that's not necessary Ooh, that made a big difference didn't it just kidding anyway so um, I save the skins like most people do of any pores that I've done um, that when they drip off your canvas or whatever medium you're or whatever substrate you're working on sometimes you get sometimes you get prettier stuff under the canvas than on it but um you can save them and I, if I'm not working on anything that, like a silicone mat or something that I can pull stuff up, then I use um, photo paper, shiny photo paper, and I'll just use this spatula and I'll scrape the paint like this and then lay it on. Um, and then it just dries right on this and then when it's dry, you can file them away. I have a stack here of their, them being dry. Um, and if you're doing stuff that has a, you know, like I have a little hole puncher for a 25 millimeter one, that's the only hole puncher I have. So when I'm not working with 25 millimeter one, I will either punch See, I'll either punch a bunch out, punch a bunch, punch a bunch. Uh, shit. I can punch a bunch out. Stop saying punch a bunch. That sounds funny. And then I will just glue them on if I'm using different color or different size cabochons. I'll glue them on. And I'll leave them sit for a day or two so that they're good and on there. And then I'll just take my scissors and cut them out. This one, I thought it would be cool. This is not like a painting, but I used the um, holographic paper. I don't know if you can see. I just put some on. So I'll cut them out and use them. But I went ahead and I did a bunch of them. Right now I'm just working on um, these are come on Lisa, the word bookmarks. Real hard word, huh? So I'm doing that. Oh. And I'll show you how to do them. I'll do a couple with you. That way, you don't have to watch the whole process. Pretty much get it. I'll show you a couple of them. What I have so far. These are just little bookmarks. Um, they're in my Amazon shop if you want to go. If you want to make some. Let's see how you... I want to kick the camera. See how you make them just with your runoff? So you're not wasting a bunch of stuff. Um, oops. And then the ones I used. Mm 
Okay. So here's a couple of little turtles. Make the run off. This one's so pretty. These are made, these two, I know for sure. Actually, these three are run off from my uh, Christmas ornaments with the primary elements. This is the Stargazer. Um, and then these two are just with the holographic paper on the back of them. I thought those were really cool and schmancy. All right, so these have a tray in them. And they do come with the cabochon that go with them. So see how they are. The tray. And then um, I will focus you in and do a couple of those. Actually, zoom you in and do a couple of those with you. Actually, let me get you super close. see very good. I should use my little arm that comes down. But these are just trimmings from the ones that aren't 25 millimeter. <laughs> um, so I'm going to work on these two with you. These are all the ones that I have already cut out. That one's not cut out yet. These ones are for a different video. That'll be for like jewelry and stuff. All right. So this one is just on the same paper that I've cut from my skins. So I'm just going to, if you want like a more even cut, start in the back and kind of try to do it in one, one motion. Oops. It's okay if you don't, but it just gives you a, a more even cut. So if there's any little spot that you can't get with your scissors, you can take like a little emery board and just kind of like put it down. But this one's in the tray. This is how it's going to, which you put it in and see which way you want it. I think I like the dark blue up top. And you make sure it fits. This one I've got a little paper still here so it's not going right into the tray perfectly. Which I should be using my emery board. But I don't know where it's at. Why don't I know where it's at? Because I have a huge mess going on. All right, so you can just use like a little emery board. So you don't want to go this way because you might pull the paper, okay? So you kind of want to just go just along the edges. But you don't have to do it to all of them because it's just these more odd sh shapes sometimes give you, see, and now it fits perfectly in there. So I am going to take E6000 
if I have an E6000 the lid together. And I'm just going to put a couple little dabs and then kind of like move it around in a thin coat. And then I'm going to put this in and press it down real good. Squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it. And then you just let it dry. If you end up getting glue on your thumb and then putting it on your cabochon, like I just did, it's fine. Because you can just take uh, a little piece of, uh, oh my god, I gotta clean this mess up. A little piece of um, paper towel with some alcohol on it and it'll get the glue off it. But you just go ahead and just let it, let it dry with the others. I'll leave this one here because these ones are dry. All right, so I'm going to do an owl. So the other owls that I did were blue and uh, save this one. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's do a purpley pink one. Now this one I've already cut out and it's already been glued and it's ready to go. So you just do the same thing. So anytime that you do any sort of jewelry work um, that involves the, the bezel trays and the um, some of the things that you order with the bezel trays will come with the cabochon already, um, which is just this little glass dome. Some of them are just uh, bezel tray blanks. They don't come with it. And you can use, um, kind of want it. And you can just use resin, like you'll put your, um, you'll put your little piece in to the tray of your skin or if you put the skins on the back of a photo paper. Like I said, if you have like a big silicone mat um, that your skins pull up on real good and then you can, you know, just peel them and you can even use this just on regular skins or you can just put your cabs on it glue it, let it sit for a day or two, and then just cut around it. I put a little bit too much glue on this one, but it's okay. You just take your little paper towel, get the sides all done. Oh, I really like this one. Oh, it's very pretty. And a cute little owl. All right, so I'll put that aside. So yeah, so basically that is it guys. I will show you. Some of the skins that I don't pull and put on photo paper. And if I have done something on, you know, a silicone mat or something, I'll just put them in these little sheets just to keep them. See, this is just, there's no photo paper. It's just the skin. So, yeah, I mean, you can, you can cut it. You can take one of these punchers 
And then you just kind of like look to where you want. If you don't have a puncher and you want to check to see, you will just go ahead, punch it right out. Boom, you have an acrylic skin. You can use the back or the front. Um, if you don't, what did I say? What was I gonna say? Oh, if you don't have one of these with a little window in it to look, you can take, uh, you don't have a regular size cabochon, but we'll just go, like if I'm going to make a big one, you just take it, I don't know if you guys can see, but you'll just find where you want. Seriously. You guys probably just missed the whole damn video. I'm gonna have to rewatch this. Anyway, you find the spot that you want and then you can take some of this diamond glaze and then you'll just put like a dot of the diamond glaze on it, put your cab on it, and then just let it sit for a day or two. Just squeeze out all of it. And then you'll just take your scissors after it's completely dry and cut around it. So if you did miss everything I just said, these are the sheets. Just regular um, you know, they plastic file folder sheet thingies. So yeah, you can just keep your skins in them. The ones that, you know, you do use. So yeah, I've got a ton of these sheets. And then these are just the ones that I used on the... Um, photo paper. This one didn't really make a very good skin. It did at first, but it dried really, really dark. So I might do something with that. Maybe drip some gold through it or something. But yeah, these are the skins that are on the photo paper. And these are the two that we just made together. I think this owl is my favorite. That is primary element colors. Also primary element colors. Very cute, right? All right, so I am going to end this video. Hopefully you guys saw everything I did. These are just little skins that were cut out with the photo paper. They are 25 millimeters. Um, so they just fit right inside a 25 millimeter cabochon. And then these are some of the cabochons I glued two days ago that they're ready to be put in something. Which I'll be making jewelry in the next video. Which is pretty much kind of like what we just did. But a little bit different. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Hope you guys saw it. Um, and yeah, I will see you on the next video. So thanks for watching me in all of my chaos. Talk to you later. Bye.